Get the most out of your EasyGrip ERAC2 with this helpful video. To install the rack to a vehicle, we first need to prepare the rack. Give the integrated spanner a few turns to loosen the tow ball clamping bolt. It should be visibly loose. Unlock the tow ball locking knob. Unwind the tow ball locking knob until the clamps fall from the housing and dangle loosely. Now place the loose clamps over the tow ball of the vehicle and begin tightening the tow ball locking knob. Give the rack a jiggle while you tighten. You should see the clamps being pulled up into the housing until only the nipples are visible. Begin tightening the tow ball clamping bolt using the integrated sprung spanner. You should feel resistance once tight, but without squashing the plastic spacer. Check the rack doesn't turn on the ball. If installed properly, the rack will be solid. If the rack is turning, check that the nipples of the clamps are visible under the housing and nothing else. Then check that your tow ball is nice and tight. Then check that you're using a standard 50mm diameter ball and not a 1 and 7 8 inch ball or interchangeable ball. If the rack still turns, then try tightening the clamping bolt a little more, but do not over tighten it. Lock the tow ball locking knob. Plug the rack lights into the vehicle's inlet. To load a bike, we need to first prepare the wheel trays. Start by undoing the webbing straps. Grab the straps by the tabbed end and pull them over the bungs. Undo the blue clips at the base of the arms and fold the arms down. Be sure to do the blue clips back up. You will feel a click when they engage. Next, we need to adjust the ratchet straps to accommodate a large wheelbase bike. How long your bike is will determine where the ratchet straps need to be positioned. To reposition a ratchet strap, you'll need to undo the wing nut on the back side until it comes away. Then pass the bolt through the desired position and do up the wing nut once more but don't over tighten the wing nut or the strap won't rotate. Before loading a bike, we recommend tucking the ratchet straps into their protective rubber sleeve so they aren't an obstacle when loading the bike. Unlock the frame clamps. Unwind the knob to open the clamps nice and wide. Now grab your bike, specifically the heaviest of the two bikes and roll it onto the rear position. Have the front tire sitting in the wheel tray with the rubber webbing strap. Take the frame clamp and position it at the narrowest point along the top tube with the clamp facing downwards. Tighten the clamp until the bike cannot rock back and forth. It cannot clamp a tube greater than 60 millimeters in diameter. Once in position, the clamp should be nearly horizontal. The clamp is sufficiently tight when the bike cannot be rocked from side to side. Do up the rear wheel ratchet strap. Move the sleeve protector to the wheel rim to protect it. Do the same for the front wheel ratchet strap. Now take the webbing strap and pull sharply upwards over the tyre rim and down onto the bung below. Loading the second bike uses the same procedure. Fold the arms down by undoing the blue clips. Remember to do the blue clips back up once the arms are down. Tuck the ratchet straps into their rubber sleeves. If you're using the ramp accessory, hook the top of the ramp to a wheel tray and rest the end on the ground. Roll the bike up into position so the front wheel sits in the tray with the webbing straps making the bike sit top to tail. Take the frame clamp and position it at the narrowest point along the top tube with the clamp facing downwards. Tighten the clamp until the bike cannot rock back and forth. Do up the rear ratchet strap with the sleeve protector once more protecting the rim of the wheel. Do the same for the front wheel ratchet strap. Finally, fasten the webbing strap around the front tire. Lock both frame clamps before driving. Each E-Rack comes with a safety strap. Loop the straps in and around the bike and the rack upright. Tighten the strap using the cam lock. The strap configuration will vary depending on the bike geometry but must wrap around the frame upright. Now you're ready to ride.
To tilt the rack, undo the blue clip above the license plate holder and pull the license plate bracket towards you. To stow the rack, lift the rack until you hear a click. Do up the blue clip behind the license plate holder. To unload a bike, undo the rear ratchet strap and tuck the strap into the sleeve protector once more. Undo the front ratchet strap and front webbing strap. Unlock the frame clamps. Unwind the frame clamp and lift it away from the bike. To unload the rear bike, we suggest folding up the front arms for better access. Undo the blue clips and lift the arms. Clip the blue clips back up and then join the arms using a webbing strap. Undo the rear ratchet strap and undo the front ratchet strap and webbing strap. Unwind the frame clamp until it can be lifted free. Move it out of the way. Roll the bike off the rack. Fold the arms up by undoing the blue clips at the base of the arms. Remember to do them up once the arms are upright. Join the arms using the webbing strap. Unplug the rack wiring. Unlock the Tobol locking knob. Loosen the clamping bolt using the integrated spanner until the bolt rattles. Unwind the Tobol locking knob until it spins easily and becomes loose. Then use the handle on the subframe to pull the rack free. 